Hey everyone, it's Vinny. I'm going to be doing a product review today, and this is a professional only product. So really, the only way you can get this product is either online, certain salons may sell it, and if you are a professional, you can get it at the beauty supplier store, and it is a brand new product that was just released about a year ago. The Joyco uh, Color Infused Red Shampoo and Conditioner. The way I've seen it at the beauty supplier was they sell it just side by side and you can get them separately. It is a brand new line of pigmented shampoos and conditioners. And the good thing with the pigment uh, in the shampoo and conditioner is it's custom tone as well. So if you have uh, either brunette hair, blonde hair, red hair, this product is perfect for you and you can custom get it for your tone. So if you're a warm blonde, they now have something for warms. If you are a cool tone blonde, or maybe you've been swimming and your hair is a little bit green or uh, brassed from a bad dye job, they have a really rare one, which is a blue-based shampoo and conditioner, which is very tough to find. Usually see only purple-based. The one I got though is for uh, red hair, and I have used Joyco products before, and I've gotta say that they are really amazing. It says in the shampoo, it will revive red hair, and it's got a bio-advanced um, peptide complex. So I think that not like protein or something, but I do know that a lot of their other products will make your hair feel a lot more conditioned and a lot more healthier than before. And they're usually acid-based. I'm not sure about this one 100%, but the directions are pretty straightforward. You obviously wet your hair. You're gonna apply the shampoo to your hair. And you're, what's unusual though, is you leave it in one to three minutes. I usually leave it in for three minutes for maximum deposit. This is gonna not only cleanse your hair, but it's gonna deposit that really, really intense red pigment back in to prevent um, loss of pigment. You can, it even tells you too in the directions, use it only two to three times a week. This is my first time of using it and I'm gonna make a video about me using it a second time because I do notice a difference. Conditioner, after you um, do this, it says color depositing Conditioner refreshes and protects the vibrancy of red tones. You're gonna to leave it in for one to three minutes. Um, and the product shelf life is like 18 months when it's open, so it lasts longer than others. Uh, let me see if I can show you in my hand what it looks like because they are really, really pigmented. This can also stain skin. That right there is a shampoo. It's a very intense, almost pink, purple, red, and see afterwards the staining. But I haven't had any problems with staining my hair. Um, I have used this product three times a week. Um, some people say it can be a little bit drying, and I found that if I use it every single time I wash my hair, it can get a little bit drying. However, and that's a conditioner by the way. Conditioner is a little bit lighter, and it's kind of got these almost metallic like shine to it. I have found though that the the more you use it consecutively your hair will be a little bit dry so be mindful of that. Um, another thing that I found with this is um, your hands might get a little bit stained. Warm water and just use soap and it should come right out. I will give this product a pretty good review um, from a four to five I mean from a review uh, out of five stars. Can't speak today. I would say um, <laughs> I would probably give this about a four and a half only because of a little bit of the drying that you get. However, I would say use this once because I wash my hair about three times a week. Um, use this once and then the next time you wash, use something different and then use this again because it really does protect the red hair from fading. It has been about a, a month, maybe a little over since I last did my hair and you can actually see that my hair is really vibrant after using this once. I might have pictures um, from before my roots. I also have found what I really like about this too is I have a little teeny teeny bit of grays and it's hard to see but if you look up close where you see my root and if you can see it there's a few other hairs that blend out my color now. Those are usually where I have grays. This is not designed to cover gray, but I have found it will blend away the root and blend away the gray much better than some of the other uh, products out there that claim to do that. Be in mind though that if you do have white hair, you might want to be careful because this does stain hair 
And if you also have highlights, I wouldn't really recommend using this because highlighted hair is not only porous, but this will stain that and your highlights can turn either like an orangey, I'd say, or maybe like a purpley color that you wouldn't want. I also recommend using this if your hair is a semi-permanent dye, such as like a manic panic or a splat, which I don't like splat to be honest, but that's beside the point. Uh, this is good for semi-permanent. This is even good for natural hair. If your hair is naturally light and you want to add some red tones to it, or even bring out some underlying red tones and dark hair, definitely go with this. Price-wise, I got it for about like $12 a piece, so this was about $24 for both at the professional store, but prices always vary. I say go on Amazon to get this because you're going to get the best deal on there if you don't have a professional license. Another thing you can do is if you do have a family friend or a family member that is a licensed hairstylist, you could actually um, have them go in and get it for you. But it is a very good gift for someone that has red hair and I really do recommend it in just your mini, um, I don't know, like toolbox or product box for uh, red hair. Um, the smell isn't bad at all. It doesn't really smell like anything after you use it. Um, other than that, um, also rinse. Do lukewarm water with a shampoo and then I always rinse on cool with the conditioner and I find the hair is more vibrant. You will find pigment washing out naturally after you use this and that's fine. So let's say you use it once and then you shower again and the water's a little bit red. That's okay. Um, it's a great product. Um, it is new. I think now they sell it in salons and like a thing so you get them both. But if you just want the conditioner just for the deposit only, you can get that. I always say use both though because the shampoo and the conditioner deposits, you're going to get a double deposit on red pigment, which is key in maintaining beautiful color. All right, well, I hope everyone is having a good day. And if you have any questions on the Joyco Color Infused Red, let me know. I'll post a link to it uh, to Amazon down below.